What's up everyone, Daddy Robux here, and today we are continuing our playthrough of Rhyme of the Frostmaiden. Karis is the DM through the series, so Karis, why don't you go ahead and take it away. We began our last session in the Dwarven Valley, confronting and being confronted by Garn the Smith, over who owed what to whom over the destruction of Black Iron Blades in Bryn Shander. As it was about to come to blows, a stranger interjected that several towns had reports of similar thefts and that the pattern led to the Dwargar, who have a fortress somewhere south of Ten Towns. As the scoffing started, our party remembered seeing the Shardolin dragon flying over peaks that way when they adopted their nautiloid. At that, our adventure capitalist withdrew from the fray, sweeping up the stranger, now known as Rorodosti, to be their guide, and flying through the night in the it ascendant. The next dawn, they found and beheld the fortress that had been described to them. Oops. Let's yeah, delete oops. the next one. There we go. The fortress that had been described to them. While succeeding in scouting the outside, they also succeeded in alerting the fortress as a horn blasted out a warning. So they landed a ways away from the, the fortress and he headed toward it on foot. As they did, though, our heroes mm -hmm. were met by a giant frostworm that nearly consumed them. Defeating the creature, they found a ring in the remains, oddly untouched from the acids of the beast, and identified it as a ring of three wishes. So they set up a quick camp to regroup and decide what to do with their wishes. And we rejoin them now. Discussion in progress. So, first things first, where's the ring? Uh, uh, if we're picking up right where we left, I'd imagine Tali still has it like in his hand because he had just he's, got what ideas. he's like holding it, you know. I don't so, think of wish for anything. I think we need to get something for the Ed Ascendant. Mm -hmm. We have to be careful in how we choose to to go about such a task, though help to be very specific and concise with what mm. exactly we want to do. There's a lot of issues with the uh, with the nautiloid. Life's, the life uh, support is not functioning and it's still a technology we've only begun to scratch the surface of understanding. Maybe we wish for the knowledge to best be able to use this machine. Then we can repair it, improve it, and navigate it as we see fit. I can definitely see that. Doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Who's smart enough to actually do that? <laughs> I just turn and look at Tali's. <laughs> sure. well, I've been piloting it for some time, but uh, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, you know, if uh, if anything were to happen to me, uh, Andwise could very easily take over. What is the scope of the wish? Could we impart that knowledge on both of you? I mean, why not impart the knowledge to all of us? That way, if, uh, you know, many hands make light work, if we all know how to use it and all know how to do it, um, then if there's any repair work to be done, rather than just the, the two of us having to do all of the work, the load can be shared and be completed much faster. Very good idea. Assuming that we don't mess it up trying to help, but, you know, absolutely. So we could wish for the knowledge to operate and repair um, and improve the the nautiloid to our entire yeah our the our group here um, I believe uh, somebody had the idea of uh, granting resistance to uh, 
cold mm -hmm. to everybody. Also very beneficial to our, our cadre, as if we were able to resist the elements and, you know, that creature that we had recovered the ring from being a prime example. If we can resist the bitter cold, it will increase our chances of survival. Yeah, I could have something we do with less of the uh, worldliness out here. So, I think maybe that should be our, our first step, as it is the simplest. Who's smart enough to make it precise and good to go? Well, I would think between tallies and possibly endwise here, especially tallies, he seems to be the most knowledgeable of us all. One <laughs> year. Thank you very much, Crazy Flower. Appreciate maybe, all the support. Uh, maybe about some subjects. Years to another year, maybe. We'll see. Hopefully I'll be able to... Um, yeah, keep up with uh, everything we need. Well, wait. Um, above the table, when we, in our last session, when we were discussing the scope of wish, it didn't I roll our Arcana checks like like we knew what the wish spell did, right? Okay, so that means we would also remember wish stress. Where that came up. Yeah, okay. So then with the simplest wish, we should give that to someone who definitely cannot potentially cast the spell again in the future like a wizard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like just just make the monk say, I wish we all resisted to cold. <laughs> because then if he if he gets burned on wish stress, then you know it's who cares? <laughs> Very fair. Right. That's a that's a very good idea. Uh, I think that would be very useful. Uh, Tallies, can I hold the ring? Of course. Uh, Tallies will hand the ring over. I don't like that. You started laughing when that <laughs> happened. <laughs> oh no! It's no, no, running. Nothing. nothing. <clears throat> it's a trap. <laughs> All right, so we're all in agreement. We should uh, wish for something, uh, wish for the ability to resist this cold. Yeah, um, I guess if we want to try and be exact, we should wish um, that all of us around this campfire, sat around this no. campfire. We call everyone by name. And don't, uh, don't say this cold. Because this cold implies the cold of today, today. but not the cold <laughs> of tomorrow. That's a good thought. That's a very, yeah. Uh, I, I, I wish that Landar Stormwind and Wise Good Body, Tali, what is your last name? Honestly, just Tali's. I'm just Tali's. I don't have a surname. My brother and I, uh, we didn't really know our family, so we were taken in by the Sages of Candlekeep. Hmm. And you, Roro? Toasty. Landar, are you writing this down? <laughs> I'm trying to search for a paper, pen and paper in my backpack right now. Oh. <laughs> I hand <had, laughs> you over my quill. <laughs> yeah, you can write on anything. <clears throat> oh. Very useful. Okay. So, then it's going to be... Are you going to say this aloud as you write it down? No. I know, I shouldn't have actually <laughs> said that. But I was trying to head it off. I was trying to... to um... Here, uh, are you... Do, do you have you. your... I'm a benevolent paper? DM. <laughs> 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 That's one where you go. And don't you guys forget <laughs> it. Oh, hey, I have a nat one, don't I? Yep. 
that sounds like it might be useful. Um, <clears throat> so, do you have you your, your no pen and reason. paper? I'd like you to write this down. Yeah, I, I have the pen and a rock. That, that seems to be the, you know, medium for writing on things. <laughs> So, so then, okay, so it's it's azototh, right? A, Z, A, <laughs> and he spells it all out. <laughs> Did you get that? You're typing it into chat if you into the game chat if you want. But then there's no role playing. <laughs> no, as well as he's no, no, not you, Landar. As he's, so we can know exactly what he's transcribing with his quill, right? With well, with. Tully's is quill. Did, did you get it? All right. Then it's yep. Azatoth, Broadbearer, Ukunga Humushi. Akunga Humushi. No, 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 no. A Not Akunga. Aku, <laughs> Akunga Humushi. Hakuna Matata. No, that's not right either. <laughs> Ukunga Humushi. Ukunga Humushi. There you go. Make sure you write that down. I don't want you to screw this up. Oh, please. Screw it up. <laughs> Aren't you already resistant to cold? No. Anyways. No, I'm not. Uh, well, <laughs> oh, you aren't? Yeah. Oh. Mandar is. We, so the party hasn't realized this yet. But it, and it's not going to matter here. Hopefully, oh, sorry, in a second. Sorry, sorry. But remember, sorry, I am sorry. I'm a uh, custom lineage, so I don't have yes. Goliath traits. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So now that we have that done. know a thing about invoking for a, a boon from a supernatural you know source so we need to be again very clear so we're going to run through the list i wish blah 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 blah, blah. we're resistant to the effects of extreme cold and to damage as a result of cold does that sound and he starts scratching his chin and tapping. Yeah, sounds sounds about right. Although uh, I would add that uh, it's uh, probably an idea to leave me out of the wish. Um, as things stand, uh, the cold seems to not to bother me in the slightest. I would also add the terminology forever at the end, probably. So it's not like a temporary thing. Yeah, but then what? It, what happens if we exclude you? And then these, this effect from the codicil is temporary. True. But then, if you don't exclude me, it might remove my immunity to the things and, and, and make me only resistant. I, I suppose it is your choice, friend. I'll remain as I am. So then I start hovering over Landar again and pointing. Scratch him out. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to scratch out his name on the rock as I'm just turning the rock around, trying to get around the entire thing. Go wrong. <laughs> you can write on any needed. surface, right? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, so in theory, couldn't you just like write on top of the snow? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Anywho, it's like all right. Hold up. Hold up. I got it. I got it. So instead of using the rock that's like round, and I'm gonna have to turn it constantly, and I might lose my place. I will use shape water and create a little stone, like ice tablet, in front of me. And just right on and the then, ice. <laughs> yeah, and right on the ice. Pretty soon we're going to have to memento ourselves. Start <laughs> writing. And... <laughs> Adventure capitalists were here. 
that's dope. How wait? <laughs> your your and magic the pen. Date. How long does it last? <laughs> Until I get rid of it. So what you're saying is I can just hold on to this thing and just graffiti everything as we go. <laughs> you're gonna start I mean, tagging everything. I mean, in, in theory, yes. I'll just uh yeah. <laughs> If I ever need it back and you're not there, I can just create another one as a bonus action. Nope. All right. All right. So I've got the you. wish for the cold. I, and I'm going to re read it back of, you know, the names and that we were resistance to extreme cold and the damage related to extreme cold. I know Pop is like looking up, like into his head, like thinking. I think I think that's correct. Okay. All right. Should we like hold hands? <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's the tradition or whatnot, Thales. As a top, how about if we just let him make the wish and then throw you into a frozen lake and see if it works? Or you went to a frozen lake. I mean, you're already resistant anyways, right? You're Goliath and everything, so you should be fine. Make the wish. Okay. So Landar has the rain, and then he wishes for Landar Stormwind, Azatoth Frontbearer, Okunga Humushi, and Wes Goodwin, Ruro Dosti, to have... Uh, that they were resistant to extreme cold and the damage related to extreme cold. And a little swirl. Puffs of wind just loosen the snow around you. And that sort of billows up around you and settles. It's pretty. And You can't tell. All right. Some Wait, weird stuff me. just happened. But I don't know if it worked. Uh, <laughs> take, take, um, take, take, take your jacket off. We're standing in a snowfield up in a, up a mountain. Like, just take oh. your jacket off and see if you feel cold. No, 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 no. Look, simple, simple solution here. And I'm going to kind of walk a, like 10 feet away. And I'm a turn and I'm I'm a face towards Tales, and I'll put my hands at my side and kind of flex my arms on my chest and go hit me. I, how does? I, I'm confused. It's cold. It's not like hitting you or something. Tales can can manipulate his spell so that they are are uh, of the type of his choice. So come on, hit me with something cold. Um. So. The spells that I can manipulate require uh, a little uh, more effort than um, some of the more basic ones. And the more basic come ones. Come on, you coward! Just hit me. <laughs> and wise, roll a d4. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Tali's aims uh, aims a chromatic orb at uh, Azatoth <laughs> and lets loose. <laughs> and, and okay, while, so, just so uh, you, close the, your eyes. you feel cold. You feel a snowball dripping down. You're back. I mean, that's not... Well, and then, as that's going on, the chromatic orb's going on, I'm going to use a key point and just move 30 feet of snow right on top of Azatoth. <laughs> well, okay, so for one, the chromatic orb would miss, actually. Well, I said, I said close your eyes. <laughs> oh, there we go, yeah, I'm blinded. It's advantage. Well, you can advantage. <laughs> advantage. <laughs> Hit me! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I get fifteen, which is probably still a miss. Yeah. I just, I just rerolled the whatever the dice was. But... Right, right. Great. So I think a fifteen still problem. misses. Wait, plus. Oh, yeah, it is. My armor is sixteen. Damn it. Yeah. Well, I <laughs> we should have thought this through. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, I mean, a, bl a brilliant blue sphere comes to you and splashes over you and does and uh, seems to do nothing. You missed. 
Now remember, you're also going to be covered in 30 foot of snow. All right, well, let's try, well, so, let's so try we this. So we still feel this the sensation of cold. That's not going to do anything. <laughs> it has to be <laughs> extreme cold or cold. Da- <laughs> Con save. All right, even if, I, even if I pass, I still take damage, don't I? Yes. Yes. All right, cool. I failed. Do I take 14 damage or less? You take seven damage. It does seem to have less effect upon you than it would have before. <laughs> it worked! Uh, for how long? <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> I, I just look at so I'm, uh, and I'm rereading the 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 entire thing on the st- on the ice tablet. I'm like, we didn't put a duration, did we? No. It's all right, though. It's fine. But we didn't we didn't not say forever. So true. 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 Implied. All right. So we definitely can't screw up the. Ne- does he need to roll for wish stress? Yes. Where? What do I roll for wish stress? Uh, uh, D one hundred. Yeah. And let me see. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Seems a fitting number. Oh. I'm trying to find where it is. Not in the spell text. Okay, thirty-three percent chance, and so, um, so. That's a pass. Yeah, so you're able to cast another again. Wow, we should we should have probably read the whole thing. <laughs> if you did get stressed. Uh, the well, the first part wouldn't matter because you don't cast spells, but also your strength drops to three for 2d4 days. For each of those days you spend resting and doing nothing, your remaining recovery time decreases. Woof. So, yeah, it decreases by two days. Uh, so, so I, yeah. I, I take nothing from that at all since I'm a oh, monk shit. and there is no. dexterity. No! <laughs> we <laughs> that happens regardless. The stress it of cast, casting the spell, uh, it, it weakens you. You take 1d10 necrotic per level of the spell. That all happens. And then it says, finally, there is a 33% chance you're unable to cast Wish ever again. Yes. Uh, okay, so, so I, mean, you're cast wish I need a 2d4. <laughs> Uh, Landar, give me a 2d4. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so your strength is at three for two days. two days. Oof. So what if it, okay, by that wording though, it says if you do nothing for that one day or like light activity or whatever, you reduce it by two days. You're already at two days. You rest for eight hours, or like, how does? I mean, just asking for a friend. <laughs> well, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess, I guess we could just make our. Did we, did we just rest, or is this prior to a rest? I'm confused. You the... so you rested overnight on the flight to here. Okay. You okay. scouted the fortress. So we can't. You came back and landed. A, uh... So it's like it's like eight o'clock in the morning. Even given that you spent a lot of time discussing wishes, and you rested overnight, and you have the battle damage from fighting the worm. Right, and then during this camp in here, everybody took like a short rust. Yeah, I was going to say, there yes. was a short rest. Oh, yes, I... yes, you did take a short rest in okay. here, yes. Okay. So, do we make the next one? 
and then you I, guys can sit I here guess. for a, a full day. You guys can sit here for a full day if you want to. Then we should definitely make okay. next wish first, and then yes, rest. With, <laughs> with that nasty of a side effect, we need to make the wishes before we start our resting for the day. Because we need to make sure that someone's not going to be out for four days. Valid hey, idea. Darren, welcome back, man. Thank you for the 42. Uh, well, on an eight-hour so rest, so you know, so if, if you were to roll and get, like, it lasts for eight days, you take your long rest, you still have six days minus eight hours that you have to be, you know, of rank yeah. equals three. There. So there the only the, the, we'll, we'll make a second reason. wish. And then we'll gosh, use... I believe this is your this is your fault. I believe. <laughs> then we'll use the third wish. I wish that none of us had wish stress. <laughs> <laughs> but that that would undo the first two wishes instead of actually just granting us reprieve. So we feel like you <laughs> side are you on? <laughs> <laughs> what if we wish we were immune to wish stress? You might be immune to wish rest for like eight hours. So if we cast wish again, then maybe. But after, but in the in the in the short term. So then, what are we doing? Are we going to make the next wish, or are we going to try and space these out so that if someone gets boned on the 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 penalty, we're not just like dead. Well, so the, the main downside is the uh, spell I casting. Guess spell casting. All of us except for. Um, uh, except for Landar, uh, cast spells, at least to some extent. Uh, although Andwise is probably the best bet since he's also a primary dexterity user and no. has access to spells, but... No, wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Into... Just if... wish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Landar didn't get the, the stress penalty, right? He can still cast it. So his strength oh, yeah, can't go true. lower than three. It could just and like he last already longer, got so, like yeah. the minimum roll, and I don't think he really needs strength either because he's a monk and he uses Dex in place of strength. Yep, and any spells I do okay. use are cantrips anyway. All right, so I think we should make him do the next wish too. Get fucked, Landor. <laughs> <laughs> I am useful. <laughs> That you can you can fashion yourself some ice crutches since you won't feel the cold it won't be a problem right? <laughs> I will carry you because <laughs> you'll be so weak <laughs> this is where he goes yeah I'll make the next wish uh, insignia of the cloth what's <laughs> up <laughs> so using a cantrip for shape water create another ice tablet and we're going to try this again. So then, what wait, should, no, what, wait, what? <laughs> wait a minute. After enduring that stress, each time you cast a spell until you finish a long rest, you take 1d10 necrotic per level to spell. Wish is a ninth level spell. Won't Landar uh, take 9d10 necrotic? <laughs> well, yeah, you would. I thought, I thought that read as if I cast a spell. When you cast from cast an cast item, it. you're still casting the spell. Ooh, good, good oh. call. Good call. <laughs> I mean, is it going to matter if we're taking a long rest anyway? Not, what's your... Uh, I, yeah, I don't think 9d10 is enough to outright kill him. No, I'm 45. Well, wait. No, that, that would. Yeah, that, that's, that's exactly literally right half. <laughs> that is, that is small enough, but you'd like... have to roll. You'd have to roll max on every die, dude. That exactly. Doesn't... Probably I not going to happen. Probably, probably won't happen. <laughs> I'll okay. take the risk. Why not? Yeah, I'll take the risk. You can help. Dude, if this kills you, I'm oh. sorry, but you have to say dead. It's too good. Like it's. <laughs> 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 and at this at this point, I think it Tally's needs to take to control of the pen. Max roll on every die. At this point, Tally's needs to take control of the pen. I'm feeling a bit weak. Hold, even just holding his pen for right now. 
<laughs> I'll take my pen back. Okay. What are we doing? Tally's going to write on the, the ice tablet the next wish that I need to say. Okay. So this time we're going, are we going for the knowledge? I think we should. You can write okay. it in the game chat if you want for him to read it off. All right. Well, so so the way that I'm going to do it is um, everybody's names that are on there, I'm just going to leave. And I'm just going to add my name to that list. Um, everything else, I'm just going to wave my feather over it and everything else just disappears. And replace that statement with um, have the knowledge to operate uh, and repair. repair the Nautilus. Forever. And you forever. Wait, no, to no, no. Properly oh, yeah. operate. Oh, that's, that's uh, to yeah, properly cool. operate and maintain. Ah, uh, yes. Operate, maintain, operate, and maintain repair. and repair. Yes. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and oh. utilize all, all of its people. systems. Yep. Okay. Well, th yeah. That, I mean, that would fall under the perfect. No, write it down. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I I write that down too. What? Hmm. Do we want to make it specific to the Nautiloid? Should we just well, say, what like, do you want? like, we? What if we just said, like, my? Do we know? Do we actually know that the thing we took the Nautiloid from was a mind flare? I don't know if we ever actually discovered that. I believe when you described them to me, I said they were because I'm a Bloomstock and come across them before, but because. I mean, we could simplify and expand it by saying we wish we had knowledge of... Oh, shit! Oh, yeah! Uh, I wish I had the knowledge of how to manipulate... No. Come on, help me out here. Uh, repair, use, utilize all Mind Flayer technology. Because then we could repair and use the guns, too! We can all be proficient with laser guns! <laughs> yeah, I'm not opposed to that. But that's if, if we know enough to like group it all together. Um well so like Tally's knows that he found the Psy Crystal in the you know, the remains of an of a mind flayer, and then those squid like creatures oh. that look like gnomish mind flayers um had their ship, so we, we kinda know that it's related to mind flayers. No, wait, hold on. I don't want to do that. That's tempting. We'll, we'll all turn into illithids or some shit. I don't want to... <laughs> you want the knowledge, I mean, huh? <laughs> isn't, isn't, isn't there's like a special... There's a, isn't there a special illithid that's also a lich? I could go I could go for that. Yeah, an illithid. <laughs> I'm game. But then... Tally's is like, I wish I was brains. an illithid. Illithids are like CR-22. I don't want to fight you, dude. There's no place like I'm being ill. Ah, but I, but I bet uh, but the mistress of frost won't want to fight me either. Ooh, a necessary evil. All right. So, well, so far I've got I wish, and then our names because we already have that written down. Have yeah. the knowledge to properly operate, maintain, repair all mind flight technology. I mean, do we want to go for that? Seems right. Or should I? Or should we say all illithid technology? Since that but, relates but to we all the different subraces. I guess you would, right? Because you've been mind Tullis, building Tullis. with the Nautiloid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Tully's would. He, uh, we, I mean, when we real before, like uh, Tully's knew about mind flayers as well. Um, which is why I knew that it was a mind flayer corpse, and was saying like, "Hey, be careful! There could be mind flayers about." So, all right. So, yeah, change the word mind flayer to illithid, because it's the the entire subtype, I believe. All right. So that's what we're going with. Yeah. 
So then Leonard's holding the rein, and he uh, says this wish. If you do, you want me to actually state the words specifically? Karis? Yes. Very, very well. Okay, so I wish Landor Stormwind, Azatoth Fraudbearer, Okunka Humushi, Andwise Goodwin, Tallies, Roro Do Dosti, had the knowledge and ability to properly operate, maintain, and repair all Illithid technology for as long as we live. <laughs> we learned! <laughs> I, I'm going to I'm trying to think of how she's going to screw us over. Well, while she thinks about it, oh, you can I roll already your know. <laughs> roll your nine d ten. Oh no, he's unconscious. It just goes. He goes. And you ah. find a gap in your knowledge. The mind players oh, have lost the secret of manufacturing the <laughs> Manufacturing does not mean repairing and or whatever. It's so like you can offer to maintain it, except that this is why they were having trouble repairing the it ascendant was because they didn't actually know how. Sorry, what they didn't know how to what repair it's in the, it? It's in the it. But it's mind flyer technology, right? It is illithid technology. So even if they didn't know how to do it, we would if it's an illithid technology, because that's within the purview of the wish. Let's see. I'm gonna have to think about this. So I mean, not if that's how give it time. Give it time it, to yeah. develop. <laughs> that's but, true. Um, you do gain the awareness that the mind flayers have lost this technology. Lost the knowledge. Oop. But what about them laser guns? Are we? Oh, are sure. We all, the laser guns are easy. So we're all proficient in in uh, alien technology. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, damn. <laughs> I have Eldritch Blast, but. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I'm now, searching to find that I quote. I remembered just, it, but I didn't remember exactly where it was. So. We just we, wait we, we should... until we fight like some like a shadow or something. Everybody pulls out laser pistols, starts blasting it with radiant fire. <laughs> That's it. We start we start organizing firing lines. <laughs> I mean, we are about to storm a fortress, so. Mm -hmm. How many of these? So... You, you're starting to feel, and actually, um, Tali's, this is feeling very familiar to you. This is feeling like, you know, as you were trying to digest the knowledge of the languages from the mm -hmm. Descendant. Yeah. That the knowledge and information is starting to spool through, but it's going to take you guys time to process it. You don't just instantly know how to do everything. Okay. Okay. Um. By the way, what was the what was the date that you put down for? Uh, today is the twenty uh, seventh of Kythorn in the year fourteen eighty nine. Dale Reckoning. So I now, was wondering if there was some significance to it. That's all. I, I was just mentioning that because, I mean, uh, Azatoth was talking about leaving graffiti and stuff, and I thought he might want to date, you know, like if adventure uh, capitalists were here, he might want the date, so. Yes, yeah, solid idea. So, do you want to hold on to this pen, then? <laughs> I uh, hand the pen over to, uh, well, actually, I, I gesture. All right, there it is. Where's the pen? What, what color do you want it to be? Color do I, what? What color do you want to write on stuff with with the pen? You know, if you want to graffiti stuff. I'm, I'm particular to a, a nice royal purple. As okay. is befitting yep. my, uh, my noble lineage. 
I uh, the, so the pen will write in a purple that's very similar to the uh, the, the purple in the background of my image, my camera background. Okay, oh. so so Landar still has the ring. Landar went unconscious after cast uh, after doing that. Andwise sort of managed to rouse him a little bit with five hit points. So so I still need I still need your two D four Landar and your D one hundred. Can I can I look for the ring after Loki and Wise goes over and helps the lad? Absolutely, give me an investigation. Oh, okay. So you Landar can never, never, never cast the wish spell again. Hey, look, snow. I found snow. Look at the snow. It's so pretty. So five, six, seven days where their strength is three. Yes. And they can't cast spells, which they already couldn't before. Well, he can cast. He could yeah, learn to cast, cast spells. Them. He would just take a lot of damage. Okay. All right. So then. Uh, and also, having the date also. Um, uh, having the date also um, 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 helps us keep track of when that seven days is up. Right. So then the only thing left um, is to pick up the ring, which I think I heard Roro say he did. I look for it. I don't. Do I find it with you gave my... me investigate with an eight. You might not. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, with an eight, you might not. So I believe Landar still has it. Yep. Uh, I help Landar out because there it is. Huh. Yeah. Lothavita takes it while uh, while Andwise is rousing uh, Landar. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm not gonna make a attempt to hide. I'm just going to hold it up. Oh, um... Maybe we should wait on this last one until we sort him out. Sure, sure. And then Landar is conscious again, right? Like, I uh, was it Andwise? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. As, after, as Andwise attends to him, Andwise is, brings him back around, yes. Uh, would anybody else like to hold on to it, or do you want me to have it? I mean, you find to hold on to it, sure. Um, so, what's, what's the plan now? Are we are we gonna are we gonna rest for uh, for a day, or are we just gonna move on? Absolutely, gonna rest. <laughs> He's at five. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. A lot are of you going to go back to the It Ascendant to rest, or are you going to stay right here where you've kind of settled up for, you know, settled? I, I feel like that's a loaded question, but I'm, and I'm not sure what the right answer is. Just do what your characters are going to do. It's just, if you're going to rest all day, do you want to sit out here in the cold, which you are all resist, at least resistant to? Or are you going to go back to your nice ship that that is not warm but is shelter and has um, a, a mage and six kobolds? So you know it's, it's a simple choice, right? So my line of thinking is we have already made camp here, you know, and the, we're unbothered by the cold, so we literally could just stay here. But if we go back to the ship, we can grab laser guns. I thought laser guns. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm going to go laser guns. I, got, I want laser guns. Sounds like a solid plan. <laughs> we don't have to camp at the place. We can just go grab laser who guns. Needs, camp. Who needs cantrips when you've got laser guns? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, we will run out of ammunition eventually, but still fun. That sounds like a pretty, future. I'm, pre I'm, pre I'm pretty sure Amwise can help out with that. But On cause... one pistol. One pistol. One oh, that no, is currently carrying. Uh, you, you just use all of all of your artificer infusions for repeating shots. Can you do that? No, you can't have the same one on multiple things, can you? 
All right. Anyway, but so so here's a bit of a wonky question then for you, Karis. Um, mm-hmm. The laser rifles and pit, they like they don't actually have ammunition, right? They have like correct like ammunition cells. They have a, essentially a battery, battery cell, right? So and, and with it, the it knowledge, can power a certain number. Yes. Mm-hmm. With the knowledge on how to create, maintain, use, and whatever this technology, would it be something that Andwise could do, like during a rest, to use his artificer magics and create fuel, like cells? Like, can we create ammunition for laser rifles? <laughs> or can I? Or can I charge the batteries by repeatedly casting shocking grasp into it? <laughs> I think. Um... With with Andwise's artificer knowledge, and between that and Tali's ability to manipulate um, um, elements, I think we could work out some guidelines. I mean, it wouldn't cool. just be an instant thing, but no. I think we could work out some guidelines where where between them they could figure out how to recharge batteries i mean Excellent. it might take a day of work or whatever but but yes i totally think that would be possible well we do have to wait <clears throat> what seven days we yeah. got time to figure it out well i don't think we we're gonna wait a full seven i thought we well, were we waiting can wait. we can wait with yeah we can just wait one day we, yeah we really don't know how long it's gonna last truth be told so but the one day will recover any um, any damage that he's taken, and also not right. have him worry about taking more need, damage from casting spells. I need everyone to make a wisdom save, please. No. <laughs> hey, thanks for the first thing. Are you been? Is it against the spell or magical effect? It is. Where's my sheet? Wow. Wisdom. That's wisdom not good. Save? Oh wait, do I have something? Oops, I, that wasn't supposed to go to GM. That was supposed to go to public. Let's try this again. Uh, just All in right. case, I'm, I'm using... Need everyone. I am moving I'm us. In... To... Go ahead. I'm using my inspiration on this one. Okay. And why is inspiration? I am moving us back to the encounter where we have our... We're still near the dead creature, and there is a white dragon incoming. Everybody, please give me initiative. Oh, I am not at 86. I took damage from, uh, there we go. One, two, three, four, I need. Andwise, there's Andwise. We shall sort. Uh, descending. And I'm going to remember to hit the button. Start. Did it do anything? I don't know if it did anything. Okay, it's, uh, let me do some quick measurements here. It is not quite that far away because it was within 120 feet as it was coming down on you. So it is about there. All right. Oh, we need something more rousing than this. Okay. Um... So everyone who's uh, uh, everyone whose wisdom save was below a fourteen is frightened, and you can repeat the save at the end of each of your turns of this dragon that is bearing down on you. Roro, you start us off. We'll move over that way to get out of the range and uh, try to hide. Okay, Give me, let's see, did you roll stealth? Yes, you did roll stealth. Ah, and Vohoro disappears into the snow. Anything else you're doing? Uh, nope, I, that'll be my end of turn. I'll just re-roll the wisdom save quick. Okay. You are still frightened, and wise. Thank you, uh, Warbucks, for getting that going. All right. It is about uh, 20 feet up in the air. It's coming in fast. 
I'm going to hold up my hand at it, kind of like a stop, and tell it to go away. And then I'm going to hit him with that. Lightning launcher. Uh, mm-hmm. that is a, and it, it banks its wings a little bit as your, whatever this looks like. What does this look like? Is this lightning bolt or whatever goes past its shoulder and it continues in? Um, above table, think Iron Man. Yes. Bolt's That's coming out of his hand. Seen <laughs> haven't sure. seen it. Sorry. What? Bomb strike <laughs> laser blast. Yeah. Yeah, he okay. opens his hand and in his palm and just pshew. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that shoots over its shoulders and it continues in and you moved. I'm gonna move away from it and finish my turn like that. All right. Brings us to Landar. All right. I'm gonna move. Let's see. All the way down there. And then I am going to get out a bottle of uh, Pushing of Healing, and I'm going to chug this. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to use a key point for... What's it at? Patient defense. So I take, I'm essentially taking the dodge action. Okay. And, and you're chugging... What are you chugging? A Potion of Healing. Right. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um, now, who who all was frightened? Uh, Tully's was frightened. And I was frightened as well. I am too, but I won't be on my turn. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> you can re-roll your, um, your saving throw. You are no longer frightened. Okay. Spartan. I mean, Tully's. Right, well, Tully's. Tully's is going to just sense, <laughs> sense her a fireball on the uh, on the dragon because it's well within range. Alrighty. Is it, is it fire? Fireball. Is it, it is fire. Fireball? <laughs> well, it's yeah, fire I mean. This time, yeah. All right. So this is a deck save. That's a fail. That is a fail. It takes it. All righty. And then I'm going to uh, I lost its token. Come in. Give me. There we go. All righty. Uh, you're moving back. Anything else, Tollies? Uh, just the wisdom save, and that's it. Okay. Uh, that wisdom save. Uh, I forgot what the DC was. The DC was, I think that's a success. That's a success now. Okay. So you are no longer frightened. All right, brings us to Azatoth. Okay, uh, I'm gonna open with a bonus action to activate my form of dread. So I gain temporary hit points, okay. twelve temp HP. Mm-hmm. Um, I am immune to the frightened condition, so mm-hmm. that's no longer relevant. And once on each of my turns, when I hit a creature with an attack roll. It makes a wisdom save, and if it fails, it's frightened of me. <laughs> yes. So then uh, we will walk forward just a little bit, and we're going to use our uh, our glaive and point towards it and fire off Eldritch Blast. All right. Ooh, that will hit. So it's going to take five. It needs to make a wisdom save. Uh, versus frightened, if it can be frightened, I'm not actually sure if it can. Um, okay, wisdom save. Oh, look, that's a success. Okay. Um, it also I'm trying to find it. Sorry, uh, I have repelling blast, so it gets moved ten feet away because it doesn't specify size. <laughs> I love the okay. idea of this dragon swooping down towards you like get And I just <laughs> yeah, I point my glaive at him, fire an eldritch blast out of the beam and knock it back. Um 
because apparently I can't remember what I just said 10 seconds ago. That is once, once on each of your turns. Okay. So it, it won't repeat the save, but I am going to try to hit it again. For another 13. And it's going to get pushed back 10 more feet. You get out of here. <laughs> All right, I'm not very good at finding. Wait, where was that? I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. I hit Glaive instead of Eldritch Blast. Those have different numbers on the second one. Uh, all right, it's the same. It's still it's still 23 <laughs> to hit, but it's only 5 damage, not 13. Sorry. Click the wrong button. Okay. And it needs to make a wisdom save. No, that's only once. But it does need to move only once. 10 more feet. Didn't it? But it hasn't made a wisdom Oh, yes, it did make a wisdom save. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I you... can keep track. Karis can keep track of these things. Yes, totally. I did move it back. Twice? Twice. Okay. There. It's also further up because it's coming at an angle, so. Cool. All right, then I'm done. All righty. You are done. And it is not frightened of you. Alrighty, so it is going to come in and uh, come, here. come here. Alrighty, so this is going to be a six, that's not a 60 foot cone. Were you um, all... Well, I was trying to use the dragon breath thing, but I think that's a different thing. So yeah, let me actually spell, use the area of effect. Yeah, let me use the cone, 60 foot cone. There we go. And it is going to do it when it. Um, I got to come out a little bit here so I can see what I'm doing. So it is flying in and it is going to. Let's see. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It is going to breathe it here. So it's only going me? to get Azatoth. Why are you bully me? <laughs> and then it's going to start it's going to start flying up. Okay, so Azatoth, you are subject to the uh Yep. No, it didn't go out yet. There we go. On save or uh, oh, I'll, I'll roll it. Yeah, I'll roll it. Yeah, I'll roll it. And I will update. So, con save or 51. I fail, but I am resistant. So yes, you are. 20 math. 25. 25. 25, yeah. No, 25 yeah, is 50. 26. I mean, 26. <laughs> well, 26 would be 52. You yeah, round up or round down. Yeah, players get to round down. So 20... Uh, 25. 25. Uh oh. Oh, man, I'm an idiot. I have temp HP and I didn't take it away. <laughs> there we go. All right. Roro. Move because I'm hidden and still afraid, so probably nothing. Uh, aim and wait for the next turn. Yeah, okay. I mean, you can make a range, I, I don't know what your range is, but you can make a range shot at disadvantage. I thought if you're afraid, something you can't like a are they no. just approach. Yeah, you just uh, yeah, you cannot closer. approach it, Fair. you can make an attack at disadvantage. Okay, and I will go ahead and do that, which, well, I'll just shoot with my bow. Um, that was not it. Not, nah, oh, disadvantage. Uh, it's actually canceled out because I have advantage from being my... Oh, you were hidden. Right. Yeah. Good, good. So give me your Hit damage him. on that. That comes in and it strikes in, in a tiny gap under it between the scales and we've got, let's see here, that is... Just the 8, actually. The sneak attack wouldn't be there because mm -hmm. I have no advantage. You uh, you were hit... But it cancels yeah. off in the yeah, 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 yeah,
So that is a successful hit. And it has an arrow poked out of it. Anything else? Nope. Do you wish to rehide? Uh, uh yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I missed what. I'm crossed. Okay. All right. And wise. All right. Going to move up to there. Um, bonus action. I'm going to have my mage hand that I'd spawned earlier. Move my uh, little pet to over there. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to look up at the dragon. And I'm going to hold my hand up again and tell it to stop. Okay. And that would be it. And again, it banks and the shot goes over the other shoulder. Or I actually go between the wing and his body. All right, Landar. Okay. Uh, trying to figure out what I can do from long range. Boys, were you afraid? I'm not afraid. I was asking. No, I know you. I know you are are no longer. But I don't remember if Andwise was. I thought they passed. I thought Andoy's passed, yeah. Yeah, I'm the only one that passed first time around. Okay. I also forgot that my servant on the last half of my turn is going to fly the remaining 15 and clip himself to Landar. Okay. All right. This gets me. How close does it get me? And he's up in the. Okay. He's um, banked and heading up. So he's. Well, his tail gets down to probably. 20 or 30 feet up, but I'll take it. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't really have much in the way, but I do have darts that I can throw there. It's uh, 2060. So it'd be at disadvantage since mm -hmm. it's beyond 20. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, through two of them. One, they two. both miss. All right, then I will use a key point for patient defense and okay. essentially taking dodge action. All right. That's it. Tallies. Okay, Tallies is going to move in a little. Move into there. Uh, uh, all right, uh, Tallies is going to cast Web from his stone on the dragon. <laughs> the deck save? It is, I think, yeah. Oh, look at that! It's a pass! Yeah, I figured. <laughs> That's fine. I can do this a few times. You don't want your dragon to drop out of the sky? What? <laughs> what? Me? What? My sweet the dragon. I mean, look how elegant and gorgeous it is. All glistening white with the snow around and all. I mean, it's gorgeous. My pretty pet. Okay. All right. Anything else? Uh, nope. Okay. Azatoth. All right. Um, I know you said it was up in the air, but how high is it? Uh, what's your range that you're looking for? Ten feet. <laughs> my my melee reach is ten feet. It's more than ten feet up in the air. Okay. I figured. Even its tail is more than ten feet up in the air. Well, we will... Is it within twenty feet from the ground? The tip of its tail might be within 20 feet. Dope. I would give you that. Then I would like to use my bonus action to Misty Step. <laughs> ah, you're going to grab onto the tail? 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and uh, just land on the tail. <laughs> Give me uh gosh, I don't even know what kind of uh, uh athletics to grab the tail. Ooh. Can I give you? Can I give you an advantage? Uh, what am I gonna do with that? I'm gonna let you grab it. This is too cool. No, this is this is too cool. You grab onto, so you are hanging onto the tail of the dragon. Okay. Rule of cool. So then, uh, I still have some movement. I would pull myself up so that I am uh, standing back here, and then I'm going to bop him. Uh, they pull yourself up and then do... So Misty Step was the bonus set. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yep. Um, that'll miss. That'll miss. 19? That one will hit. All right. Uh, we will replace. So the after damage. you. So the the first time you're doing this, you're kind of you know it's like okay, you have to hang on and do this, and you're sort of figuring it out. But the second one, you think you've got it. All right. Give me uh, some damage. I am going to replace the damage with necrotic, which means I also right. get to roll an extra damage die. All right. So. Wow. So hold on. There's an extra D10. So let's get that in there now. <laughs> and then we're also going to use a charge from that. Mm hmm. So that is 19, 24, 24 total. And I'm going to gain 14. All right. All and right, I think that's so... about everything for you there. <laughs> No, I hit it. It needs to make a wisdom save. Ah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> That's a fail. That's a pass. Uh, right. No, no. Uh, let's see. No, it's freaked out. It's going to fail that one. So it's frightened. It is frightened of you, yes. Excellent. I am done. All righty. Brings us to the dragon itself. So the dragon has this thing um, clinging to it. It is going to shoot up into the air. And it is going to um, barrel roll. And I need you to give me an athletics to stay on. I'm going to use my advantage here, my uh, inspiration. Okay. You stay yeah, on. <laughs> and as it's doing this, the tail is going to whip around to attack you. Now, it, it you it's afraid of you, so it gets disadvantage, which I didn't do. Ah, so it's not a crit, but it does hit you. Okay. Four, eleven. Okay. And it is now 60 feet up in the air. Roro! All right, I will... Uh... Oh, wait, wait, uh, let's see. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. No problem. Um, I will take a, another shot. Seems about right. Uh, <laughs> then I will uh, try to hide again and then also make my save to see if I come out of the fragment. Okay, so you are hidden again. And you are no longer frightened. Nobody's frightened anymore. Except the dragon. Except the dragon. Except the dragon. Yes. <laughs> Brings us to Andwise. All right. Your neighborhood. <laughs> I'm going to move up to there. 
And for a third time, I'm going to hold up my hand to try to tell it to stop. What's your range? 90. Okay. And this one, it's it, while it's doing its gyrations, your bolt goes up and its gyrations took it completely around that blast as it goes by. Um, yeah. So, as a top, you see a bolt of lightning go right by you. And wise? All right. All right. That will finish my turn at disadvantage because of the range. A second force strike is going to come flying from the direction of where Landar is. Hmm. And that one also. So, as a top, you see another bolt go by. I imagine I just kind of like duck behind the dragon. <laughs> All right, use my last piles. 10 feet of movement and move away from the party a little bit. And that'll be my turn. All right. Landar. So, Landar can't really do much. He's just going to move forward up to here. And then you're going to, he's just going to be yelling at Azatoth, utilizing message. Cantrip, just yelling at Azatoth, bring him back down here. I can't do anything. Can respond as part of the message. You can respond, yes. Mm -hmm. how, how do I bring him back? What do you want me to do? Guide his head. That that's, that works with horses. <laughs> Anything <laughs> else, Ladar? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to use uh, two key points to um, for quick and healing to gain some extra health here and get prepared. Okay. Tully's. All right. Tully's is going to get closer. Yep. Um, we're going to go ahead up. and... Yep. Uh, that's fine. Uh, another web. Deck save. I'm going to aim it so it doesn't hit Azatoth, but it would hit the, the dragon. <laughs> Um, it passes. Okay. Oh, so, <laughs> there we go. That's fine. I can do this, like, four wait, more times. Wait, it, it, oh, no, because you... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Anything else, Tully's? Oh, no. No, that's it. Okay. Azatoth. You're on the dragon's rear end. I I am indeed. Um, there's not a whole lot I can do here other than smack it. So smack. How high are we from the ground? Yeah, then this thing died. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> Drive it further up. <laughs> okay, so hypothetically, right? Let's say I'm on the dragon. And I hop up in the mm -hmm. air and point down. So I'm pointing towards the ground an Eldritch Blast. It gets pushed down. <laughs> Is that some troll physics? Or... <laughs> Alright, anyway, that's not what we're doing. We're gonna smack it. I don't know, you can hold it. You could you could hold it, you know, so instead of holding it this way, you could hold it that way to make it go down. Like pointing straight you down. Don't need... <laughs> yeah, you you can hold it this way so that it's pointing down. You could do that. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, <laughs> let, I, I no. I don't want to do that. That's silly. Uh, we're just we're gonna attack it with the glaive. So we have one attack. Two that will hit. That will hit. All right. Um, the first one. So it is now. Let's see the first. So it goes. It no, pushes only it ten Eldritch feet. Blast. Oh, I only Eldritch attacking blast. with the glaive. Its movement speed is reduced by oh, 20, Oh, right, 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 right. That right, matters. Right. Um, yes, that does matter. We'll replace the first one with Necrotic. So I roll an extra d10. Okay. Wow. Uh, I do again. Then there's a second hit. And because math, 
15, 8, 1, 10. I've been taking them off as we go. I've been taking 34. them off as we go. And then uh, we will bonus action. It also, it's going to need to repeat the wisdom save. The fear only lasts until the end of my next turn. So since I hit him again, he'll have to repeat to see if it goes mm -hmm. to the next one. That is a fail. So it's still afraid. It and is then, still uh, afraid. And then, what was I doing? Bonus action. We were going to Pam attack. So, boop. Another hit for seven. All right. And that's all I got. Okay. Should I have the dragon fly off with Azatoth? I mean, Azatoth would just murder it on its, on its way. Yeah, but then Azatoth has to get back to the ground somehow without, you know. That's what Dimension Door is for. <laughs> all right. So it is can it, it so it is going up took 20 feet off of its feet so it is going up and doing barrel rolls give me athletics to stay on getting rid of me okay you are still on and you're gonna get uh two tail attacks at this and this time i've got disadvantage tagged and they're both gonna miss all righty. Brings us back around to Roro again. I will take an actual shot this time. Bandage. Okay, not... so as a tough, you've had you've had some lightning lightning zipping past you, and now you've got an arrow zipping past you. Would I? Because I'm Two on its arrows back. Zipping past you. It's flying up, and they're like. I would figure I would have total. Cover it's doing a it. barrel roll. It's doing it, a barrel it's, roll. It's doing all this stuff. These are these are missing the dragon, but they are also missing you. Okay. Flavor. And then you're I, uh, witnessing. You're I witnessing would this. Perceptibly as... shake my fist at the people so far away on the ground. <laughs> and okay. All right, and wise. All right, let's move to there. Let's try a different tactic. I'm going to draw my gun and pull the trigger. That will hit. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, you have a uh, you, you have a Actually, you do because of distance. Yeah, it's like eighty feet in the air. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that still hits. Um, however, the sneak attack does apply because you have an ally in range, in, yep. in melee range of the creature. So that's twenty-five. Okay. Let's see. We were about 60 feet up. We went 40 more feet. Uh, no, we went 20 more feet up. So we are, yeah, we're 80 feet up. Okay. And another blast from the Moculus. All right. That is a um, miss. All right, that will end my turn. Landar. So Landar's just going to be here ready and <laughs> holding his action while he shakes his fist. <laughs> that, that's what Landar does. And just angrily looking and holds his action in case this dragon comes back down to where he can potentially punch it. Okay, and so if the dragon comes down into melee range, you are going to do what? Punch it. All right. Tallies. So Tallies is going to move a little closer. He's going to shout up to um, Azatov. Try and bring it a little lower down. 
and he's going to ready a web spell. So that if the dragon comes within 60 feet, he's going to target it with web. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, that's my turn. All right. As a toss, you are 80 feet up. What are you doing? <clears throat> I mean, they keep saying, try to bring it down. With, with what? And then uh, as I'm shouting in frustration, we're going to uh, gonna attack it again. I think. Don't you have Eldritch Blast? Yeah. So I can move it from 80 to... No, but yeah. that, well, that would be silly. Because I can do... I can probably kill this thing <clears throat> it with, uh, it, with my glaive. Okay. So one, two, that. Um, and then. Give me damage on the attack. first one. All right. Give me damage on the first one. one. It's <clears throat> the only one. Uh, we're replacing mm -hmm. it with the chronic, so it's gonna be eight mm -hmm. and a d10 and one of those. That's thirty total. This thing's getting pretty ragged. I mean, you've got raw meat under you as you are as you are, you know, cutting this thing up while you are in the air. Uh, <clears throat> also, I need uh, wisdom save because I hit it again. Yes, yes, you did. Fourteen fails. It is still fighting W. All right. I'm going to use my movement. <laughs> so wait, it's yes. it's pointed vertical, right? Like straight up? Yes, cuz it's been flying well, it's I'm been flying use my straight up and twisty to climb up it and stand on its head. So I am uh, up north and it can't move towards me. So now it has to go back down. That that works, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nice try. All right, I don't think so. <laughs> nice, nice try. I mean, the only way it can move away from you is to get you off of it, and it's doing its darndest to do that. All right, so we are going up another twenty feet and barrel rolling around. Give me another athletics. Okay, you main you maintain your hold. And let's see. Am I still at disadvantage? I'm still at disadvantage on the tail attack. And those both miss. All right. Roro, we are now 100 feet up. I need to write this down so I can keep track. And so you've got this gyrations going on as it goes further and further up and the, it is barrel rolling around and twisting around and the tail is lashing around and, and you see Azatov's, uh, you know, arm is swinging and oh my goodness, that first one is definitely a hit. Oh, and the sneak attack is in effect because you have an ally within melee range of him. So that is 11, 26, that is 26. Then I hide again. What? Then I hide again. Then you hide again. Give me yourself. <clears throat> All right. Hmm? Oh, you missed. This, uh, so Azatoth, you can tell that this dragon is in really bad shape. Hmm. <laughs> uh, how do I get rid of this? Okay, brings us standwise. It is starting to sort of struggling, and the motion is no longer fluid. It's now jerky. What's its current uh, height? 100 feet. It didn't move last turn? It did move. We were at 80 feet. Okay. Does it, doesn't it? does it still have the restricted movement? Every time I hit it with a glaive. Yeah. So I only yeah. hit it... I only hit it once last turn. So it would only have had minus 10 to its movement speed that round. Oh, 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 oh. So we're at uh, 110 then. Thank you. But I was pretty sure he was at 100 the last round. <laughs> I thought he was at 80 the last round. It's okay. It was, it was I'm just trying to calculate time. how much uh, fall damage I'm about to take. 
Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh, it it totally. was at eighty before. I'm going to move. Pretty much, so I'm underneath it, shooting straight up. Eight. Up time. And that well, that's disadvantage, but that does hit. No. How do you want mine, 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 mine to do this? How do you want to do this, Andwise? Uh, basically, I can see where Azatoth was beating on it before and knocked scales loose and it's a meaty pulp. I'm going to shoot right through that hole, catching it in the heart. And probably right out, like straight through him and out one of the eyes, just so Azatoth can see my blast go sailing by as this thing <laughs> dies. <laughs> Whatever. All 13. right. So it only counts as one. From a mm. hundred, well, it might count as two here momentarily. From a hundred and ten feet, Azatoth, you are falling. I ain't scared. Uh, I would like to take a reaction as soon as he's within sixty feet of me. No, I'm not no, a willing you creature. Can't do that I don't need your help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is what d six per ten feet. Yeah. I'm just going to T-pose on my way down. <laughs> you splat! Okay, so what's your reaction as he passes? Now remember, he's moving pretty fast, but if you want to get between the, the 30 feet. And the web spell might go off, too, as the dragon is, because he's falling with the dragon, as the dragon falls and gets within 60 feet. Uh, I mean, the dragon's dead. Doesn't matter. Um, actually, Featherfall says nothing about willing creature. As a top is caught by Featherfall. No, no, I refuse. Yes, you are. <laughs> it doesn't say. It does not say <laughs> willing in help? there anywhere. <laughs> he floats gently it to the doesn't. ground, but like with his legs crossed and his arms folded in a huff. <laughs> yeah. No. <it's... laughs> it was mine. <clears throat> Cheated. <laughs> All right. Oh, I it, did not uh, cheat. You brought it out of range uh, of everybody. Try to keep it for yourself. You didn't take it out of range. I had no choice in the matter. Your first attack knocked it 10 feet higher. Uh. <laughs> Still marking it for me. It was not. That is my kill and you know it. So the dragon's on the ground, right? Yes. The dragon is on the ground and you are free to punch it. I am doing that. Multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> we are out of... Uh, we can clear the initiative. Uh. Does this thing, sort of thing happen to you guys a lot? Like, <laughs> it's been a really rough couple hours, not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should probably... Yeah, it we should probably break camp and then take a rest. Uh, this is the second large beastie it's... that's attacked us in two days. So maybe no, we should... No, in one day. In one uh, day. Oh. Try like two hours. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we should recover our coffee. strength and then head in, inside to the where the Duogar make their home. They, they, they're probably like, pissing themselves at this point. They're probably like, whoa, whoa. Well, no, 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 they can't, no, no, no. I think we'll be fine. Landar just looks around and is like, this, this right here is why we need laser rifles. I'm going back to the ship. It's a very yeah. fair point, too. <laughs> Are you sure you're going to be able to carry one? I will go with him. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right, so you guys yeah, are... Re Returning to the ship, uh, let me actually return you to the ship. I'm not sure I have Roro's token in the ship, but you guys gave him the tour last time. Yes. Yeah, I'm right here in the... Ah, there you are. Yes, yes, that's right. You claimed another room. Yes, aside from... from... And as you are all re-entering our, our favorite 
Mage is standing there going, Well, have you finally taken care of your business? Can we go to the glacier now? So I'm gonna I know you're gonna tell me you have yet another errand to run. Just I'm not paying you for transit on this, you do know that. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> And she we, glares at no, Azatoth. No, we're not done. We just Are came to grab. Are you disrespecting uh... me? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, I was. Oh God. <laughs> Here, there's the crate, and I point to where the rifles are. <laughs> she actually going to attack? She looks like she is about to cast a spell. Oh, I wouldn't do that. But she restrains herself. I wouldn't leave her alone with the provisions. But just, just saying. <laughs> is, is, are, are you telling me that is the impression that I am getting? That we should not trust her? with with our belongings give me an insight mm -hmm. check give huh. me an insight check oh no hey so uh okay so that's the impression i'm getting message received the impression you know, you're getting yeah we also uh we also you know, guys, we we got all this new information about uh, illithid technology, right? And uh, let me get on the right map because I just remembered what these are, right? So I say we uh, we we fix the stasis pods with our newfound knowledge, and we throw her ass in one. Then she can't keep bothering us until we decide to let her out. <laughs> 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 given that Landor wants sleep at this point he is down for this plan you know what you can't be friendly uh, you're see. going in a timeout <laughs> you, so Tally you in, are in, in giant to, uh, to Azatoth and says well I mean we still have that, that one wish left I mean do we really need her to pay us wish wish you have a wish did she understand me speaking giant? No. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Languages! <laughs> Languages, yes. She's got several, but not that one. That is a, in giant, of course. Uh, that is a tempting uh, offer, but it, instead of using the wish to accumulate wealth, and she cast something. Ooh, what did you do? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Not safe. Can't you talk? Tell? Can't you speak telepathically? Yeah, she 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 doesn't cast something. What she's, level? She's being very okay, yeah, right no, now. she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't. She's I'm not even going to recognize what it is she just cast. I'm just going to recognize that she cast a spell at me. She attempts to. and I No, she did not hand. cast a spell at you. No. I, uh, <clears throat> I, I, I raise a hand and I basically flip her off. Um, just and But then I turn to her with like real like sort of malice in my eyes and I say, if you try and do something like that again, this partnership is over and your safety can't be guaranteed. Do you understand that? He says this as I'm menacing behind him. Um, me, um, Tali's give me intimidation at advantage. I'm helping. <laughs> yeah, we can't yeah. do this. Like, I can't. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I take your point. Be sure that you do. Hmm. Anywho. She turns her back on you. I know, so drastic. <clears throat> oh. 
So, how many of these alien rifles do we have? Oh, I have yes, 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 yes. We have crates full of them. Uh, no, we have no, three no, rifles, no, no. two yeah, pistols. Pistols, right. That's right, that's right, because Andwise scoped it out earlier, so I don't have to go looking Andwise it up. Andwise has one of the rifles? No, I have both pistols and the charges for the pistols. Okay. One oh, of the pistols right. I'm not handing over. So that, that's uh, why so, I was asking, right? Because in my notes, I only have the rifles written down. So, and that I think that's why, because you were holding the pistols. So for the rifles, all of them have... Uh, I, I, it looks like there are five? No, I get it now. Three laser rifles with 29 charges. Two times laser pistols with charges. Yes. So you have the pistols. So I pick up the three rifles. I, I hand one to uh, Roro and one to Landar, question mark. One to, yeah. I guess, one to each of you, right? Because, I mean, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely better than a bow. I thank you. All right. Well, uh, I guess we're here. Might as well rest for the night and then head out again. Okay. Now it is. It it's not even lunchtime yet. Wait. Oh. So oh, shit. do you hey, guys have some Paris. activities you wish to do? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go into the, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, you're gonna hate me so much right now, because I wrote this I down. hate you so much uh, right now. <laughs> no, go ahead, tell me. So, in the, <clears throat> in my barrel, with all my, uh, belongings, I have the, uh, I have, this is exactly how I wrote it. The black rod with several buttons that yes. the Mind Flayer used to manipulate other creatures. In order to yes. use, Kara says, figure out alien technology. So what's this do? <laughs> yes. Uh, so that is, let's see, do we have it? Uh, I've been waiting for you. I still have that in my notes. As things that uh, my notes say uh, that you have it, haven't figured it out yet and could accidentally use it on each other. Um <clears throat> So it is a pacifying rod. Do, a rod of pacif. Let's see. What's the exact name of it here? A descendant. Uh, right. I have details on it. I don't know if that's an object that you would have here. Pacifier rod. Okay. While he's playing with his rod, I'm going to go up to the second floor mm -hmm. and start tinkering with the life support system. No, wait, before you do that, remember there are crates of machine parts that were on the uh, it ascendant as well. You might want to take those since we know what to do with them now. I need to go see what needs to be replaced first. There's no point in lugging it all up there to find out it's two pieces and then have to lug it all back down. I'll go up, make a list of what I need, and then... Oh, oh shit. That's actually kind of useful, right? We get attacked by wolves or some shit. We're just going to go boop. <laughs> um, I'm going to turn right. that into a handout. Yes, please. Since it's not like an actual... I need to find myself a spell that reduces people's intelligence. <laughs> uh, well, I would say feeble mind, but that's... Uh, <clears throat> A little bit out of our out of our capabilities. All right. So as a toss, you don't immediately understand everything there. Sorting through this, because remember it's gonna take you time to assimilate. However, you have looked at this in the past. So you do, you are getting a little more understanding of this. You can see where the jury rigs were that the gnome cephalus um, were doing uh, in the life support. Um, all right, I need to read that again since it's been a couple of months since I read what he was trying to do.
while you're reading, you should, yes. if you also find the text about this uh, black metal box I just found that makes clicking noises when near the uh, the Psy Crystal, that'd be great. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes, I will run across that again. Okay. Um, yeah. So you're seeing where there were jury rigs. You can see and understand what they were attempting to do. You do not yet know how to fix it. Here it is. Here's the black box. Black metal box, the size of a bar of soap, emits an audible clicking noise when a side crystal is within five miles. Oof. Well, it's it's very small. Now that we know what it does, I guess I just shove mm -hmm. that in my in my if we start hearing okay. clicking noises, then we'll uh know that one of those crystals that Tali seemed to enjoy is nearby. What happened to Great. The old now I have to go find every single one so that I know where they are when you get close. Okay. The old one's, the old one's powering <clears throat> the ship. Gotcha. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So we find yes, more. You do detect one. You do detect one in the, the, yeah, in the propulsion room. So it's worthless because <laughs> it's just going to keep detecting the one that's in the ship. <laughs> hey, so uh, uh, how are you spending your afternoon? Uh, so Tully's will um, head up to one of the one of the upper rooms and begin to. Yeah, this, this room here with the desk where Tally's is now. Um, he's essentially going to set about trying to sort of process a, a lot of the information that he's got and that he's trying to sift through okay. by basically writing it all over the walls within this room. And then once time comes for the rest to sort of end, uh, he'll just wave his feather over it, his quill over it, and just erase it all. So anybody who comes walking in like <laughs> mid rest uh, is going to see a lot of really weird and strange tribbling all over. Like it's going to be in multiple languages, all kinds of uh, strange stuff, diagrams, ge weird, like sort of unearthly geometric shapes. Okay. What is everybody else doing during the downtime? <clears throat> uh. So I'm I'm sorting through all of our previously acquired goodies now that I understand their purpose. And then once I go through the entire list, handed out the guns, uh, figured out what the box and, and the rod did, uh, I would just secure my belongings uh, and, and set up, you know, on my pack ready for a rest. Okay. And wise? I'm going to continue tinkering with the life support to see what I can get operational. And okay. any improvements I could potentially make to the propulsion system. Okay. And that's basically how I'm going to spend my day trying to repair and upgrade the ship. Okay. Roro. Um, I'm going to scrounge about for some more berries and uh but try to stay like as close as possible to the ship unless somebody needs my help with something or wants my help with something in which case i'll stay with the ship so you are out you are outside in the neighborhood in the area of the ship yeah within like line of sight so maybe you know whatever 60 70 feet away max okay give me a survival check please and a perception check Uh, 
Okay. So you are kind of noticing while you're out and about, you're a little bit distracted by the fact that you're noticing how you seem to better tolerate the cold. And you've been traveled, you've traveled all over Icewind Dale. You are very, very familiar with the effects of cold. And and so you kind of Marlon's like, oh, you know, I guess that I guess that wish kind of did something, you know. And all however, you catch sight of um as you're starting to head back you were searching for berries yeah okay you're not really finding any right in this area we're up in the mountains it's it's more rocky and all around here and as you are heading back a flicker of motion catches your attention i look and you see what looks like some it, it's kind of snowy out it's kind of dim you see what looks like uh some humanoids creeping up on you um creeping up towards that actually it doesn't look like they've seen you but it does look like they're heading towards the it ascendant fair enough um can I see what kind of uh, creatures they are? Can I disguise self myself to make me look like them? Um, they're still at a distance. You can't tell. They mostly look like shapes. I will start uh, trying to move back over to the distance itself. Can I get there before they do? Oh, yes. They are moving slowly and cautiously. They appear to be trying to be stealthy. We'll move as quickly as able and try to reboard the ship and kind of close it back up where the hatch is. Okay. And then I, yeah. Uh, so just to let you all know, we got problems outside. There's a group of somethings moving this way. They're okay. trying to remain stuck while they do it. A group of somethings? Yeah, I didn't really stay out there enough to find out because every single time I do that, a big worm or a big dragon or something comes out of the sky. So you know, I just want to answer but I could see them, so probably not the uh, Druger. I mean, as a bonus, but I have no idea what else, you know, lots of things could be out here. So I'm going to grab my glaive and move outside the Ascendant, ready to meet whatever this is approaching. I'll go back and go with. All right, I am going to take us back to the snowy encounters map um so you can put yourselves the it ascendant is way over on the left let me shift Standing on the deck. <laughs> so, um, I'm still on the second was... floor tinkering with the system because, I mean, if they didn't holler it out, I'm still doing what I was doing. But... You can kind of maybe see a little bit. Give me a perception check as a top. Okay. And. You are looking over kind of in the distance, in the far distance, you can maybe see a little bit of motion. Um, we, we didn't uh, finish the yeah. rest, right? You have not finished the rest because it's still in the afternoon. You haven't even gotten to the rest yet. I mean, you're doing short rest. You can certainly have short rest, another short rest, but. All right, Wilford, I'm going to do a short rest real quick. I need health. Right. Um, okay. So they are far in the distance, huh? They're kind of in the distance there. Uh, let me measure. 
They are about, yeah, around 200 feet away still. And creeping up. Oops, wrong tool. Should, should I just plant an arrow near him and let him know that we see him? Um, that's kind of what I was thinking, right? Like, send some kind of a warning. Like, uh, although instead of you shooting an arrow, I'm going to turn around and point to the deck on the nautiloid behind us up at the ballista. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I, I mean, that would work too, but if, you know, my my arrow won't do as much uh, collateral damage if, if it misses. Just just saying. I don't know if, it, if you really don't care. I don't care. I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, it looks like uh, Andwise has already fired the ballista. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that is going to be at disadvantage, so that is going to miss. However, there is enough of a flurry of motion. Some of these you can kind of tell where they are, and some of them you can't as much. And I need to there, as they start getting closer, you realize that they are larger than you originally thought. Yeah, get big. Thank you. Larger targets are easier to hit. Yep. Generally. Man, there are a lot of them. They are trying to creep up. They have partial cover as well. Because they are making use of the terrain as they come around. However, that ballista, they do pause with the, the ballista strike. We should let them get within 120 feet at least. Uh, what's the range on message? 120, I think. Correct. Uh, so Andwise is on the deck, and that opens up from the second floor, right? Like, yes, it does. So I'm going to turn around and shout, Andwise, why don't you walk out with me so that you can send a message to uh, the Duergar? The, what their intentions are and whether or not they all want to die today. And they all vanish from your sight. Uh, not even, not all together, but kind of one at a time, and they all vanish from your sight. I mean, oh, actually, as I long as we get close guys. enough, a uh, message doesn't require creature you can see. Just says, message a creature. Ah, actually, these two are not invisible. Let me put these two back. And what time of day is it? Uh, mid afternoon, late yeah. late afternoon by now. Okay. So we've had one shot go off towards them. They've clearly taken the warning. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna head down and yeah. yep, I'm gonna join as the top out on the. Uh, Going for a walk. Are we, are we all informed about this now then? Or not? Ballista went the off. Balli <laughs> yeah, the ballista is not quiet. Everybody would have heard and felt that thing go off. Yeah, I suppose that's we true. also heard us shouting to each other. So, yeah, why don't we all just move up? Like, they were, what, 200 feet away? So we just go up like 50 feet? We should be able to send a message and see if they reply. Uh, Tully's will yeah, leave out, and as he's leaving, he'll say reinitiate previously uh, stated protocols as he exits the ship. So come join me up here about... Mad Matter accepted. Okay. 
You said it was about dusk or is it midday? Afternoon. Midday. Afternoon. Okay. But it's overcast enough. There are light flurries of snow. Um You're a gloom stalker? I'm a gloom stalker. <laughs> So it is not bright daylight. It is muted daylight. Okay, so as you get close enough for message, what's the message? As a talk, what do you want me to tell them? Offer them the opportunity to speak with us. Otherwise, if they continue to encroach upon our territory then we will result in violence. Something along those lines. I am not an eloquent speaker. All right, I'm going to send out the message that uh, pointing at the Goliath, but the my message is going to be, uh, he said, you guys leave or die. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what kind of response are you going to get to that? You get um, you and what army? Mind you, there's a corpse of a frostworm and a white dragon on the ground not far away That's from right. where we are. That's right. They've seen the devastation. <laughs> <laughs> Send a message again. Um, you guys saw the dead dragon, the dead worm. That was us and our army. Go away. You expect me to believe that? All right, I will send a message. Okay, let's dance. Okay, so do you are you going to take uh, an offensive action to put us in initiative? Yes, 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 yes. We can't see them, but we can. We have a, a fireball. <laughs> yes. Just lob it yes. in a direction <laughs> and pray. <laughs> All right, let's dance. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, that's the oh. highest initiative I've rolled in the last like six months. Pretty much, yes. On both games, actually. Yeah. All right. Oh, three, four, five. Yeah, we've got everybody. Let's start this party. I don't know why that never works for me. Um, Roro's going to start. Thank you. Thank you, Warbucks. Uh, Roro, start us off. I will go ahead and, uh, shoot at the, uh, one of those south there. Okay. Um, With a laser rifle. With a laser. Right. Which does radiant, as I recall. Yep. And then, uh, because it's my first round, I also do a D8 extra from being a boom sucker, and that's actually an auto crit, too, because I'm an assassin. I forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, it's that's eight. So, <laughs> let me just reroll it all. You're gonna tell you me you're gonna take the alert feet too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, plus alert. So, you need three d8, two d4, d8, and two d6 because it's a crit. Yuck. That many. Okay. <laughs> If you um 19 8 8 14 2 51 I I think it's dead <laughs> Uh that thing comes to a stop I will uh sidestep over here and cunning action hide Are there any other Turn visible ones? <laughs> All right that was only one attack. I only have yeah. one attack too. Oh, I keep forgetting. 
No, no, you're a gloom stalker. Don't they have another attack, or is it just the gloom floor? Yeah, they get an extra attack. On, they oh, get an okay. extra attack in the first round of combat, don't they? No, that's extra damage. The... Yeah, it's I, just, don't... I don't think it's a attack. Are you sure they get an extra attack? Thank you. you oh, you can make one additional weapon attack. Yeah, fair enough. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Been too long since. Well, I don't have anything else I can fire at. Never mind. It's dead. What was what was There's... that? Oh, I'll just disadvantage it. Okay, hold on. Thirteen hit. That will miss. Okay, right, in the turn. All right, Tully's. All right, Tully's is going to advance a little. So, targeting there, I am going to cast a, this spell. Wait, did it do it? Oh, gross, dude. Only a terrible people keep that prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, sorry, my bad. It's a 30-foot radius sphere, not a 20. Hey, and it is a con save. And you hit and it is against what is the damage type radiant all right and i need this guy to not that uh excuse me i need to move that out of the way so i can open him not that Unsafe. Okay. Now, what happens for the? It's all damage if you fail and. And a level of exhaustion. And a level of exhaustion. Uh, oh and, goody! And. And half that for the ones for passing, I presume. And. Uh, they suffer one level of exhaustion and emit a greenish light. In a five-foot radius, it makes it impossible for the creature to benefit from being invisible. Yes. I shall put uh, purple dots on... Oops, wrong layer. Put purple dots on these guys. So that we know that they are glowing. Or, yeah, they have light. The light and any levels of exhaustion cause it to go away when the spell ends. Is this concentration or just a duration? Concentration. Concentration. All right. And that one made it safe, so it takes half the damage. And these guys take all of the damage. <laughs> they look very sick. No. Come on. They look very very sickened with the radiance yeah okay anything else tallies uh nope all right all right seeing those two appear okay, wait, wait, wait 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 it is not your turn yet it is their turn oh, okay um The ones that you can see start to pull back. I think they can pull back. Wait That's a minute. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh yeah, you and what army? And then the first, not even the first round is done. They're like, oh shit, we, we messed up. Get out of here. So, <laughs> we the, the, the spell states that uh, so whenever they move into the area for the first time, uh, or when they start their turn in the area, they take the damage. Yeah, so they wouldn't okay, have taken me... it when you cast it, though. They wouldn't be taking it right now. Oh, because they wouldn't, yeah, because they haven't moved yeah. into the area for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. Uh, oops, stop that. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, it is now your turn, Andwise. All right, I'm going to move up there. I'm going to grab an ice chunk off the ground right about here. Uh, and send it which way? <laughs> Gee, why am I surprised? All righty. You're going to try and finish those two off. At least oh, one hopefully of one of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. So, deck save for the first guy. The first guy takes it and dies. He goes splat. Ooh. So, an ice chunk splats into this guy and he drops. That's a lot of snow. All right, that will finish my turn. At disadvantage because of distance. At the other one. Uh, disadvantage that will miss. All right. Brings us to Landar. All right. So, I'm to move. Up to there. And then I got a new laser rifle. I'm aiming <laughs> at this guy. Oh. I thought you learned how to use that. You must not have prioritized that information to get it first. You uh, have other kind of rest. <laughs> Yeah. He's a little on the tired side and he couldn't maintain the he aim. Could barely, could barely lift it. <laughs> it's, exactly. Exactly. It's, it's drooping down in his hands okay and if only pip was here he could greater resto away the uh, stat right. reduction <laughs> oh no he doesn't even know greater resto yet never mind okay anything else lander uh no what have you got for me as a top uh well first we're going to Run forward 30 feet. Man, everyone is so far away. Not far enough. Uh, for our action, we will Eldritch Blast. Which I would assume is going to kill this guy. Uh, yeah, unless you miss completely. No, I got 21. For oh my god! <laughs> I will choose not and you are going, to push you it. You are going at this guy? No, is or it? this guy. This guy. Which yeah, guy? This guy? Yep. The one that's already bloody. Okay. All um, right. And and does it push him away? I will choose not to. Uh, okay. But I am going <laughs> to attack him again since I rolled minimum. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That sucked. Uh, Bonus section. Bonus section. Bonus section. Hmm. I guess I'll be done. Just gonna shout out. Where are you going? Why are you running? You come back here and fight me like you intended to. Or next you see me, I'll be on the doorstep to your home. And I'm done. And with that, we go to Roro. Um... So I can't track any of the other ones? That, well, I mean, I can't see them at all or anything? I've been giving them away? Uh, you can give me a... Um, if you want to try and detect their tracks in the snow, you can give me a survival check. I will bear my inspiration on this. Where are you? Oh, there you are. And how far away is that? Um. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think you are going to be able to tell. Okay. I will stay. You're keeping a to... close eye. You're keeping a really close eye out there, and you're looking specifically for tracks because you're reasonably familiar with Dwergar. Yeah, if I don't see them, I will just stay put and kind of camp up sniper style and wait for something to approach or whatnot. Maybe the ship or something. I don't know. Okay. Sure. Are you going to hide? Oh, well, I mean, I didn't do anything from last turn, but yeah, I can definitely. Okay. Oh, that's true. You are still hidden. Right, 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 right. Although that's a better roll. Okay, Tully's. All right. Um, well, so this guy... Uh, hanging out here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot him with a fireball. Actually, yeah, no, I'll do that. Why and that's the... Uh, yeah. And so one got splatted with ice. This one, fire goes and turns him into crisp. And there's a little puddle of water right around there. Just remember, you wanted this fight. Uh, and I'll move forward a little more. And that'll be my turn. All right. Brings us to their turn. And let's see here. Okay, and this is the one that you can see. It's going to just stand there. All right. That will bring us to Andwise. All right, I'm going to move up to there. I think that's where I wanted. Yep, 90 feet. The one I can see, we're going to do that. Oh, that. Uh, yeah, and you notice as it as it zaps into that. it zaps into that you can kind of see the electricity sort of pass around it and it looks like this is an encasing thing and let me make sure i get his the damage off i mean that uh, so that had an interesting effect anything else handwise that will miss Okay, and you've used your movement. Only half of it to get up there. Use the other okay. half to get most of the way back. Okay, Landar. All right, I'm going to continue moving. Gets me to there. I'm going to try and shoot this one. Hmm. I think you figured it out. Uh, right. Right. Um, okay, so a blast of light goes and fries the thing. All right, then let's see. I'll actually use a key point to take uh, the dodge action. All right. That's it. That's a thought. Um, there are no more that are visible, right? Correct. And we'll move forward 30 feet. Um, no, we'll, we'll dash. We'll dash forward to here. 
and just continue to shout obscenities and uh, and and name calling them and telling them to come back and fight me. <laughs> and I'll be done. All right. Burrow. I guess I will wait. To me, everything looks dead, so I will keep waiting and perched. Are you holding an action? Uh, yeah, if I see anything, flicker or whatever from the invisibility or something, or if I see tracks that are not obviously, you know, I ain't got always. Tales. Uh, so Tales is going to um, draw his rifle. And uh, ready an action that if uh, an enemy comes within his view, he's able to detect an enemy, he will shoot it. Okay. And for a while, nothing appears to happen. In fact, I'm going to take us out of initiative. Cowards. Nibbling, quivering cowards. I'm going to send a message out in the general direction of where they were saying, come out, come out wherever you are in kind of a taunting tone. Mm -hmm. I know you don't I feel would be like fine you reached too. the target. Oh. Uh, so I'm just turn. I know I would be fine to continue pursuit as we do know where they make their home, but uh, let's, Hurry back to the Nautiloid so Landar here can take his rest. Well, one good thing is I can shoot these this rifle, so looks like a lot of the knowledge is working. You guys are are retreating back into the it descendant? Yep. I, yeah, I'm sorry, I used the wrong word. You are re returning, securing your victory back to the it descendant. Did we ever check the dragon for loot or any of those people? No. I mean, the dragons don't really wet, don't really have pockets. I mean, Maybe the worms, worms have stomachs, so I can. <laughs> do I you wish to go out around. and find them and do so? Oh, I thought they were. I think uh, Talies had said that they were brought close to the innocent and before went close. Like, I didn't. If no, not, was, you guys were a ways away from the descendant. You were you returning, know, yeah, but I, you hadn't gone very far when you were attacked by the dragon. So the the dragon body is a ways away. Yeah, never mind. Just go back in then. Sorry. These bodies are okay. So you are you are going back into the descendant, correct? Uh, I, I will stay outside the descendant since I don't require sleep or food. Um, okay. While they take their rest, I'm just going to kind of maintain a watch, make sure that these, you know, cowardly Duergar don't try to sneak up on us for a second time. I mean, yeah, for that matter, I guess I could take the other side or something, too. I just trance. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so... So uh, before uh, Landar goes in, I mentioned I'm like I can create a a, a guard tower in front so you can have a higher look at the ground if you would like. I mean, if I was concerned about height, I'd just go stand on the deck, which I will now do on your suggestion, <laughs> friend. <laughs> <laughs> so I go inside the descendant up to the up to the deck, and I'll stand there right, with put my you arms guys crossed. I'll put you guys back on the Ascendant map. Uh, incidentally, uh, the, the Ascendant is like 40 feet off the ground um, while we're 
while we're in it. I mean, it stays above the ground anyway. Um, hey, yeah, what, what good would it have done them to sneak up? <laughs> they were 40 feet in the air. <laughs> but we'll just sit comfortably inside the nautiloid and have the tentacles pick them up and yoke them as, as they get too near. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Um, uh, if you guys are going to be 40 feet up in the air, I need to do a quick. Yeah. Okay. So, Azatoff, you are out on the deck. Yeah, that's the uh, second floor, right? Or is that the first floor? Well, there there are two decks. I'm on this, there there I'm is on a this deck second. here. There is a deck. Actually, there's three decks. There's, there's decks on all three. All right, so I need perception checks from the three of you out on decks. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, can I just take my passive instead? Yeah. I rolled my passive. All righty, so... Roro, I hear a, a little bit of a rustling sound. Okay. Um, like below us, right? Uh, kind of over, kind of over uh, on the the front, out by the the um, tentacles. Sharp whistle and see if I can get Azatoth's attention and like point towards the tentacles. And if you're looking down, well, and actually, you're also close enough to hear a giggle. A giggle? Okay. You're going to have to check. A giggle. Pitch. Still can't see. Oh. Can I see them or no? Uh, yeah, well, if you get out there where you can see the tentacles, you see three um, cute little things, which all of you recognize at this point, um, out there kind of sliding along the tentacles and then going and sort of swinging on the edge. And then they scamper back up and they go sliding back down and around. Roro. Yep. Just be friendly. The Twinga are, are not to be trifled with. Yeah, I wasn't gonna. I mean, I'm good. I was just gonna watch him and see if they, you know, if anything else happens. You should join them in their games. They usually like that. If you wanna go, by all means. I no. I, I'm 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 good. I wanna Think so. Well, if he's not going As to on, on his suggestion, I'll make my way down. <laughs> uh, uh, and wise, you're seeing uh, this. Especially, you could uh, hear because they were on either side of you. So you know, you could hear them yelling back and forth. Do the tentacles go all the way to the ground? No. Huh. Mm. But they're yeah. sliding down and they're stopping before they get to the end and they're scampering back up. Well, then I would like to attempt to do the same. Hop on and slide. Whee! And then try to grip the tentacle when I get toward, like halfway. <laughs> Give me either athletics or acrobatics. Oh, shit, I'm going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> You have inspiration yeah. still? Worth no! It? <laughs> <laughs> Called it, man. <laughs> I mean, you did. You really did. It's fine. I'll live. Uh, okay, so, yeah, you are starting to fall, and as you start to fall... Okay, yeah, no. 
It's only forty feet. It's As you start to fall, a bunch of a bunch of colorful petals sort of fall with you, and you go splat. And we are forty feet up the, but you would would have been down about ten feet, so about three feet up or thirty feet up. Uh, first ten feet of free. Yeah, you'll take a minor amount of damage, which 86. you're gonna have a long rest. Yeah. Ouch. All right, so you are splat on the the ground, and one of the twingas points and starts laughing, and another twinga jumps off to come down to meet you, and it, so it is now falling towards you. Are Ooh. you going to attempt to catch it? it it's falling. Yes. It's yes, falling. Yes. It's it do it dove off. It went wee off, and it went off. And give me. Uh, either athletics or acrobatics to try and catch the thing. Okay. To answer your I previous suppose. question, no, I do not have inspiration. I used it earlier in the session. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're wondering about those, right? All right, that one I got. Oh, yeah, you you catch it easily. Uh, you catch it easily, and it, it it's, you know, we, and it starts giggling and laughing and, and turning over. And it leans over to whisper something into your ear. If you would give me a D10, please. Uh, way to go. Look, I even tried to pass on the... Uh, these, these guys love me. This is the third time. They you know? do love you. All right. And you rolled a five. <laughs> All right. And so you uh, hear a little whisper and you feel a little bit of a tingle and a little, uh, a little um, cotton ball, almost fluff. It kind of looks like, uh, uh, kind of looks like a, a dandelion uh, thing. So puff, but a little cottony fluff ball let, let is in your you. hands. Because I currently have Charm of the Snow Walker from last time with three charges well, <laughs> that we never used. <laughs> okay, well, you now have six charges. You have a second little fluff ball. All right. Because, <laughs> you know, that's relevant. <laughs> well, ignore difficult terrain. I think that, that'll be fun. And see through heavily obscured areas. That's also... Okay, I'm going to write that down. <laughs> so you have three more. Oh shit! Now, three no, more, so. uh, yeah, I should definitely write this down because I took uh, in a, in an earlier session we were taking we were it was during the trials. I made rolls for extreme cold and exhaustion. Mm -hmm. I'm immune. It in says the there, trial I'm of perseverance, the of extreme cold. That's so well. Yep, for three charges. Yeah. All right. Anywho. Okay. And so the others are, are giggling and playing and frolicking. Um, so the they're still up on the, the tentacles. And uh, yeah. So. Andwise or Roro, what are you doing? I'm literally pointing my rifle down there, expecting something else to jump out, like a big worm or something. So just. just <laughs> Would I do that to you? Not saying you would. Uh -huh. Yeah, totally. All right, so... Um, I'm going to use that repeatedly, over and over again. Just random direction each time. I know you're there, why don't you just come out so we can get your pain over with already. Like, I'll send it this way. Wait for reply, then this way. Basically, just slowly go around the clock counterclockwise. Just send it out. Okay, you don't. I don't you honestly don't feel like to get a yeah. reply. Yeah, well, and you don't feel like you're you're even reaching a target on that. So at this point, I think what we're going to do is we're going to say we are going to achieve a long rest over the night 
And I think we will pick up next time with what happens when dawn rises. Alrighty. All right, you heard the boss. That's it for today. Thank you all for coming and hanging out. I hope you had fun. If you did, make sure you hit that follow button. If you haven't already, join us in the Discord. That's where we hang out through the week. That's where you need to be if you want to get involved in a game. And if you want to see more, come back tomorrow at 7 Eastern as we play through the Tomb of Annihilation. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.